Hi everybody and welcome back to my TV show reactions. Today we are checking out Cobra Kai Season 2, Episode 3, Fire and Ice. Burning and freezing. I don't really know what that was. I was just fire, and, you know, burning and freezing, fire and ice, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Today we got my pal. We got my pal on the bed. She's here today to watch. Will she stay? Who knows? She missed episode two. I think episode one she missed as well. She came in halfway through episode one, I think. That's it. But, you know, I filled her in off camera. So, so she's excited to watch. Where we left off, Miguel had figured out that Robbie is Johnny's son. Which I don't think I talked about in my review for, season, for episode two. But that is a really big development. And I'm very excited to see where that goes. I think that's going to put less faith in Johnny. I think people are going to turn their backs on Johnny head for crease, you know? Yeah, I don't think that's good news for Johnny. Johnny's having a tough time right now. His his demon sensei is back. Miguel, his favorite student, the second son that he has a chance with, has figured out the secret about him. And he doesn't like Robbie, so this might not end well. Yeah, Johnny, Daniel doesn't like him. That's tough. That is really tough. I mean, I like Daniel, so I mean, I want, I would want Daniel to like me. <laughs> but yeah, last episode was really good. The training montage was awesome. The finale, or not the finale, the final five minutes were awesome. Daniel's, Daniel's figured out that Kreese is alive. Robbie is going to live with Daniel, most likely. Maybe, I think Daniel will lie to his wife that Johnny said yes. I don't know. I don't think that's very believable, though. Like, Johnny's character definitely feels like a guy who would say no, right? So, will he lie? I don't know. But it'll be interesting to find out. Miyagi-Do will it have any other students. Who knows? And I'm glad no one died in the cement truck in the last episode. What do I want from this episode? I don't really know. Fire and Ice is a really cool title. It is a very short episode. It's only 24 minutes. The other two have been over half an hour. So this is a very short episode. Um, but I'm just ready. I don't know actually what's going to happen at all. I'm expecting just more training. Uh, I'm, Kreese, I'm expecting Crease to have a bigger involvement in the Cobra Kai dojo and over Johnny as well. More kind of control over Johnny in some way, even if Johnny doesn't realize it yet. And yeah, I'm just excited for this episode. Before we start this episode though, if you'd like to watch more of my Cobra Kai reactions, you can check out my Patreon where I have early access reactions to my Cobra Kai episodes as well as early access reactions to my movie reactions. There are also uncut reactions to most of my movie reactions on YouTube as well as two exclusive Patreon movies a month that you guys on Patreon get to choose. So thank you very much if you check it out and let's get back to the video. Yeah, I'm just, I'm very, very excited to check it out. So without further ado, Cobra Kai. Season two, episode three, Fire and Ice. <laughs> on the computer before. Yeah, I'm not a nerd. Yeah, I'm not a nerd. What? How stuck in the eighties is he? Is he gonna go on Facebook and see Ali's profile? That'd be funny. Figure it out. <laughs> What's Wi-Fi? The internet for dummies. Hot babes. Really, the first thing he searches up, that makes sense. He knows he has a, there's a search history, right? What? Truth. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> That's the best part. Because at Miyagi-Do, it's not about the money. It's about the karate. Oh man. I think Johnny's internet searches when he started is what everyone searches up when they first get the internet. Like everything that he looked at. <laughs> most deaf. Uh, that means most definitely. Most deaf. I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying the gain without the pain. Ugh. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Brought lunch for my favorite CEO. What's wrong? Why would I be mad? Just because my husband spent half our Q3 marketing budget on a commercial for his karate gym? That video was that expensive? It was just one camera shot. What? This is a man who literally faked his own death. 
twice, apparently. Yeah, it's true. That was Mr. Miyagi's favorite song. Look, don't worry about that, okay? Some people have nothing better to do than to post negative comments. The important thing is you got a lot of likes. Sure, some of those are probably bots, but you'll definitely get a bunch of students. The internet. That is the internet for you. Show no mercy, unless it's his son. Then we gotta be pussies. You guys. No, that's not the reason. And he disses Cobra Kai. Miyagi -Do. This commercial is getting a lot of views. I should have taken care of that old bastard when I had the chance. Wait, why are we paying for? You could not beat Miyagi if he was blindfolded and tied to a chair and falling out of an airplane. Don't know how he'd actually fight him when he's falling out of an airplane, but he Miyagi would win. Ah, <laughs> she's better than you still. Friends too. Friends. I don't that's true. All right, guys. Enough chit chat. Let's see where you're at. I'm okay with them being friends. Oh yay! More students. No, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm trying to teach you karate. Come on. Let's go check out that place with the snake. No. No. Yeah. No one wants to paint a fence, Daniel. I'm sorry. No matter how karate esque it is. Learn self offense. Don't be a pussy. Join Cobra. You can't put that in an ad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the rights for that song will cost too much. No, I already own it. Cassette's in the car. Oh. No, no that's not. Yeah, and you know, like hash brown team Cobra Kai or something. <laughs> hash brown. I hope this show, this episode ends with that, with that logo. And it already ends with the Chrome logo, so that's kind of cool. You know, he's your son. That's why you got mad at us after the tournament, right? No, but yes, but no. But that has nothing to do with how I run my dojo. It's also none of your damn business, do you understand? Yeah, that is true. Something else, Mr. Diaz. He's losing faith in you, Johnny. He thinks you betrayed him. Betrayed what he's learned. Oh no, Increase is gonna snap that up. Oh my god. It's been better. These kids have no patience. They see a paintbrush and sandpaper and they take off. Daniel, you had no patience. You know how long it took you to understand what Miyagi was doing? Get those eyeballs on the dojo? You could siphon business from our dealership? No, no, not siphon. Synergize. Synergize, yes. I know the customers would love to see you in that gi. Just the customers, huh? <laughs> We all know what happened last time they trained together in the dojo. We all know what happened. <gasps> it's the meth lady. It took my best student to remind me that anything is possible. Stop being emotionally manipulative. The girls from Ecuador. Six of one. Oh my god, this guy. Imagine if Larissa takes Miguel from Johnny though. Johnny would have no one. A secret to chop onions. Sal keeps it simple. None of that veggie crap. So talk to him. He obviously does not want to talk to you. You have to speak your mind. Tell him. A real mess. I never knew my father, so she was all I had. Oh, Johnny. So instead of being up there, welcoming him into the world. Drinking at the bar. And I've been failing him every day since. The sense that this is personal stuff. You don't have to tell me. No, I... No, you do. It's one of the most painful things in my life. But one of the best things. Is you, Miguel. Has been teaching you. I got chills. Sorry. Is that Sam? Oh, they are, huh? Oh, yes, here we go. Cobra Kai demo. Or is he gonna, like, take the stage? And they're gonna fight. That scene was so beautiful. Oh my god, Johnny just poured his heart out. We haven't really seen Johnny pour his heart out before. Not like that, at least. Actually, can you not, can you leave it a little bit longer? I love this guy, returning character. I got a cover. What's that for? That? For the finale. Ah, oh, I forgot about that thing. 
No way. Oh my gosh. We want the karate though. Bring the karate. Good job, but bring the karate. Oh, look at that. Look at that shot. That's so good. Woo! I love silhouettes. I love silhouettes. It's called a bow. It's what uh, Donatello used to use when he. <laughs> Same. Donatello is my favorite too. You know how awesome? It must feel so awesome to be able to do all this stuff, right? What if he doesn't do it? Oh no! I wanted to see him do it again! No! I wanted to see him do the ice thing. Honestly, this is a lot better though, to be honest. Sorry, Daniel. This is much more exciting. No! Like, it's so awesome, though. The hawk sound effect again. I love the hawk sound effect. It is so good. It is so good. Light it up! No, it's gonna be on fire, too. <laughs> that was so awesome. Fair play, Johnny. Fair play. I would join Cobra Kai after that presentation. Like, Miyagi-Do, fine, sure, whatever. No, the ice is melting. I mean, there's the chrome logo, yeah. Dang it. Wait. Was the song at the end the song that they wanted to play for the advert? Was it? I don't remember. Was it? It wasn't Thunderstruck though, was it? Did I just not understand that that was Thunderstruck? If that was Thunderstruck and they played that, would, that's just the end for the advert, right? That's pretty cool if that was it. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> Again, the ending was so good. Again, the ending was so good. And that was my reaction to season two, episode three of Cobra Kai, Fire and Ice. And I understand now why it is called Fire and Ice, quite literally meaning Daniel's Ice and uh, uh, Cobra Kai, Johnny's Fire. But yeah, like just like in every episode, the end of the episode, it gets you every time. It hooks you. It makes you want to watch the next episode. And that is really good. Really cool to see. And the that has to do with the writing of the show. The writing of the show is so well done. And I have not really talked about the writing of the show in any of my reviews. I do not believe and that is my bad. I know we're season two, episode three. It's a little, we're a little bit, a lot bit into this show now, but I just want to say the writing has been amazing, especially with the characters of the show. I have not once in this entire show felt like I have been, or the characters have been forced into situations that they are not, that they are not, that they would not be in in real life. Every moment in the show and every decision a character makes and every event that happens feels part of the characters. They don't feel forced into situations because the script says they have to be there. It feels like the characters have been leading me into these situations instead. So I have loved that about this show. It's something that I've noticed. I just haven't talked about for some reason. Really, really, really cool to see. So props to the writers for this one. Amazing stuff. Johnny finding the internet was also an amazing scene. Again, I think that's the, that's like the first few things that you search up slash rabbit holes you go down when you first get onto the internet. Uh, naked people, conspiracy theories, YouTube, and then eventually you get to karate. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's like the first things you, you look up when you go onto the internet. I feel like that's just what would happen. So, and it made sense for Johnny's character as well. Uh, obviously the first thing that he searches up is like babes or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was a funny, a, a nice little touch for his character. Also the scene between Johnny and Miguel, my favorite scene of the entire episode, 
not the entire show, the entire episode was super emotional. It was super cool to see Johnny finally opening up more. He opened up to Daniel a little bit, but we haven't really seen him open the floodgates to anyone before. And he finally opened up to Miguel, the person who he reveres as his second son, pretty much. Reveres might be the wrong word, but who he appreciates like Miguel is his own son. And it was really nice to see that Johnny was finally coming clean with Miguel. And Miguel was very good at understanding, although he kind of brushed it off a little bit, especially with the, the cell phone ringing and stuff. Like if someone was having that type of conversation with me and my cell phone buzzed and rang, I wouldn't touch it. Like, why would you touch your cell phone there that he is bringing his heart out to you and you're going to look at your phone? I would have put my phone away. I'd been like, we can talk about that later. Let's keep talking about yourself. Unless Johnny was done talking, which he might have been done talking. Maybe he felt started to be like, oh, maybe I'm talking too much. Maybe this is all I wanted to say. But I think I feel it was a little rude, in my opinion, that Miguel looked at his phone. I don't know. I just and if I was in that situation, if I was Miguel, I wouldn't have looked at my phone. But you know, the phone got us to the end of this episode, which was beautiful, 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 beautiful. The Miyagi-Do karate is really cool. Uh, I'll give Daniel that. It's really cool, but it's not really something you can like present and have the audience go, wow, you know, it's just something that like it works in fights and it works to keep your meditation and peace and balance and life and stuff. But as a presentation karate, Cobra Kai up ups Miyagi-Do Karate on a whole nother level. The Cobra Kai presentation, I would have joined Cobra Kai after watching that. It was so cool. Oh, and when Johnny cracks the concrete with his fist and it's on fire, the coolest thing in the world. Although I was really, really excited to see Daniel slice through the ice because, I don't know, that would have just been a nice little nostalgia thing. And they did show the second movie scene where he slices the ice in half, but I kind of would have liked to see it again with older Daniel. However, I didn't mind because the Cobra Kai presentation was so awesome, and now the Cobra Kai Miyagi Do rivalry has grown even more. I never thought it could grow even more, but here we are, episode three of season two. The rivalry has grown even more. Chris wasn't in this episode too much. However, I feel like he's starting to put the idea in Johnny's head that Johnny needs to do something about Robbie training with Daniel and Miguel potentially training with Daniel. And I think one of the reasons Johnny opens up to Miguel is because of Chris talking. So in a way, Chris helped because I think that's going to keep Miguel with Johnny. But I think he, I don't know. I think Chris is kind of tempting Johnny to do something rash about Daniel slash Robbie's relationship. And I'm really hoping that's not the case and I'm just thinking about this too much. But I don't know, he's kind of going down that route like you should, you, Daniel and Robbie aren't, like this This shouldn't be allowed, like you're his father, you can't have him training, like your enemy training him. So I don't know, if that's what it feels like to me and I really hope that is not the case. Oh yeah, Daniel's ad, how expensive was that? Like Johnny's ad was on an iPhone and Daniel's ad spent, what, a half or a quarter or something of the marketing budget for an ad that was like a slow zoom onto his face or something like that. What? How did it cost so much money? It just doesn't make any sense. Like, what? It just <laughs> doesn't make any sense. And then finally, the, like, the very last end of this episode was not sure again if the song was the same song that Johnny wanted in was thunderstruck the song that johnny wanted in his ad at the end but i love that he said to make the logo chrome and every episode so far has ended with a chrome cobra logo so i thought that was a cool little thing for him to say a little nod and then especially when she was like oh the rights to the song might be too expensive and he's like no i i have the song i have it in a cassette in the back or something that was such a good line i love when johnny is just so inept with technology and like the times in general it's just super funny <laughs> super funny but i also okay i also don't think hawk is likes johnny that much anymore i think hawk is a little disappointed in johnny and he's also losing faith in johnny i think miguel has has had his faith restored almost maybe we'll see but i think hawk i think is starting to 
get off of the Johnny train and join the John Kreese train. I think my theory is still correct. So yeah, that's all, that's all I want to talk about for my Cobra Kai Season 2, Episode 3 reaction. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to these people right here. It means a lot for you to be supporting me, supporting the channel. Uh, yeah, just a big thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, and thank you for watching my review of Cobra Kai. Uh, it means a lot for you to be uh, listening, if you are still listening. I know I just mumble and jumble all this time. And I will see you next time for Cobra Kai Season 2. Episode 4, The Moment of Truth.